Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today's video is going to be about paint and what kind of paint I use when I do body paint. If you are a beginner and if you would like to start doing face painting, body painting, change your makeup goals or start uh, preparing yourself for Halloween in the middle of May, um, you should watch this video. You can buy all of the paints that I'm going to um, show you today in your local hobby shop or theater store. As well, you can order them online. I'm going to leave the links in the comment below so you can you can access them and then check the price and maybe order something from, from there. Um, usually, the body paint comes in two different types. So there's water activated paint and alcohol activated paint. Alcohol activated paint means that it's literally activated with with alcohol. So you need 99% of alcohol, which is really complicated to find. Usually the, this type of paint is used for special effects in the movie sets. So when your model sweats a lot or do a lot of physical activities. So this is more advanced level body, for more advanced body painter. The paint that you are looking for is water activated paint. Water activated paint is non-toxic, non-allergenic. It comes right away when you go to the shower. As well, you can use like coconut oil, baby oil, or makeup remover. It's, it doesn't stain. There's a few colors like a teal that can like stain a little bit, but with the coconut oil, you can just remove it really easily. What I would recommend for my models usually to have like a dark towel or black towel after they come after the shower and you probably need magic eraser for your bathtub because it gets pretty messy. But other than that, this paint is um, it's, it's, it's perfect for people who just start doing water painting. And um, it's vegan. So there, there are some paint that comes in a liquid form that are non-vegan because you use animal products. So I will give you the list of ingredients that you have to look in your makeup to know if it's vegan or not. So there is lanolin, carmine pigment, shellac, and beeswax. So all of these are um, animal-based. Um, so before buying body paint, just check the ingredients list. But the paint that I'm going to cover today, they are absolutely vegan and you can use them um, on, on the body and it's safe to use. But there are two types of water activated uh, paint. There's a glycerin based and wax based. If you're a beginner, I would recommend you go for the glycerin based. So the brand that I use and uh, there's many other brands that I will list for you like on the side, but the ones that I use is from Paradise Macron. So it's professional body paint that um, is used for artists and theater um, makeup professionals. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but I would recommend to buy this because it lasts forever and it has really good quality, really nice pigment, it has moisture, like, like it has moisturizer so your skin won't dry when you will apply it. And if you'll buy the cheaper paint like in Walmart, you'll end up hating it because it will crack, it won't cover um, your skin like color and then it won't have the same pigment. You'll end up hating it and you'll, you will hate doing body painting. And I think with, with these like water, activated paints like just buy like primary colors like yellow blue and like red and you can mix them all together and get all of the other colors get white and black so you can light it up a little bit your your color or like put a dark you will di darken a little bit I use usually an acry acrylic plate to mix my colors so you can get any color as you want and it will last forever like if you want to cover your model full on like in one color you might use all of this but the thing the paint that i bought like a couple of years ago i still have it like it lasts like literally for like forever so yeah, with the glycerin paint you need a lot of water to activate it what i usually do i use like a water spray so i spray a lot of water into my um, container and and then i mix and I don't mix just for three seconds, but I actually mix for like one minute. You need to get like that creamy, creamy texture. If you'll just spray a little bit and use the surface level, it will drip and you won't have like the same pigment. Um, so yeah, this 
glycerin based paint dries really slow compared to wax so you have time to blend your paint on the skin and to shade a little bit um, you can use a brush or sponge or I don't know like any other like material to apply you know the, um, the paint on the skin but these are beautiful they're really light you know and you can like cover large areas of the body with it and it's um, yeah I, I use it like most of the time the wax the reason with the wax is you need less water to activate it but it's much thicker usually i use that for finishing lines outlines and like it's we can do like really fine long like like thin lines with that as well if you want to have like leather jacket like texture on your skin um it will be much heavier and you will you will have that it's more the paint itself has more body um so yeah Basically, I use that only for that, and the brand that I use is Wool, so you can find that in the, in the comment as well, below. These water paints come in, uh, in these containers as a, like a cake, um, but as well you can get them in the liquid form, which is for airbrush, but I will cover that in the, in the next video. Um, all of these paints like are pretty pricey, like the black I paid I think eleven dollar a Canadian dollars. Um, the white is as well like eleven. Um, some like split palettes, which are really excited, so you can have like more colors um, mixed. You can have like a rainbow and, and many others. So they are more expensive. Like this one I paid I think like twenty dollars, but and as I said, it lasts for like forever and. It has nice smell as well like I don't know like it has some probably moisturizer mixed into the color as well okay. um, I bought this last year which is really exciting it has like um, how many like 12 colors um, so for body painters who are just starting it's I think really good um, deal it comes with a thin brush so you can do like fine line drawings you know on your skin or if you just want to use it for the crazy makeup um, you have all of those essential colors and it's, it, it, it's good. Um, yeah so I hope it was useful and let me know what you think and uh, if you have more questions about paint just leave the comment below and in the next video i'm just going to show you some techniques using those different type of paints and how i will explain you how to activate paint and how to apply on the skin and how to remove it after and what kind of interesting results we can get uh, blending them together so i hope you liked it leave the comment below and check my next video